Hello guys, it's Isaac here and in today's lesson we'll be discussing spreadsheet application. Now, when we say a spreadsheet application, we are talking about an application that is used for performing tasks that include mathematical calculations. An example of this program include Microsoft Excel, Lotus 123, Quattro Pro, VC Calc, etc. But in this lesson, we are just going to use Microsoft Excel throughout. So grab your computer or your phone and let's begin the lesson. Now, to be able to open Microsoft Word on your computer system, just click on the Start button, click on All Labs, scroll through the list of programs over there and look for Excel, Excel. So I'm within the E column since Excel begins with the letter E. Now you then click on Excel. Now this loads and then the program opens. On this page, we are going to create a blank workbook. Now, when we say a workbook, we are talking about a collection of worksheets. As you already know, a book contains sheets. So, within this workbook, we are going to create a collection of worksheets. Now, let's click on blank document to have a blank page. Now, let's take a look at the features of this particular program. Now, the features that you are seeing on top here, we call it ribbon tabs. Ribbon tabs. Now we have the home ribbon tab, which comes with its own ribbon collection of commands. Clicking on insert comes with its own collection of commands. Clicking on page layout comes with its own collection of commands. Formless data review view. Now let's go back to the home ribbon. Now the next thing that I would like us to discuss is the name box. The name box display the name of any selected cell. Now, the little boxes that you are seeing here, we call them cells. Now, when we say a cell, we are basically talking about the intersection point of a row and a column. And someone might ask, what is a row and what is a column also? When we say a column, we are talking about a vertical series of cells that are arranged from the top to the bottom. So look on your screen right now. I am selecting a column which is made up of series of cells, vertically arranged. That is a column. This is another column, another column, another column. All the cells are vertically arranged. Another column and another column. Now, we name columns using letters. We name columns using letters as you all saw all the columns that i selected there were letters on top of them so the currently selected column is called column f that is column g this is column d column h column j column l and then column c so vertical series of cells that are arranged from the top to the bottom of a worksheet is called a column. Now, horizontal series of cells arranged from the right to the left is what we call row. We name rows using numbers. So look on your screen. I'm selecting the first row within this particular worksheet. That is row one. That is row three. Row five. Row seven. Row 10, row 13, row 15, and row 14. Now, the intersection point of a row and a column is what we call a cell. So, wherever a row and a column meet, a cell link is formed. Now, clicking within this particular cell, you realize that two things are forming this cell. When you take a look at it critically, you realize that this saw is made up of column C and row number 3. Now, this basically means that the saw we've selected is called cell C3. 
we name cells using the column letter followed by the row number. So the selected cell is called cell C3. Now this cell is called cell D4. This cell is called cell B5. This cell is called cell F5. The reason why I'm calling it F5 is because it is the intersection point of column F and row 5. So H6. This is the intersection point of column H and row 6. So in all, a row can be defined as a series of cells arranged from the left to the right. Columns are defined as a series of cells arranged from the top to the bottom of a worksheet. Wherever a row and a column meet, a cell is formed. And that cell is named using the column name followed by the row name. Now, the grid page that you are seeing here, this particular page made up of little boxes. The entire page is called a worksheet. So we can define a worksheet as a grid page arranged in rows and columns in which data can be entered. We can add multiple worksheets within the same workbook. To see the name of the currently displayed worksheet, go down below your program. You see the name. As you can see, currently, the sheet that we are working on is called sheet 1. Now, this particular symbol here is called the new sheet button. Clicking on it, add new sheet to the workbook. So, if we will need more than one sheet, you can use the new sheet button to add more than one worksheet within your workbook. Now, the name box, as you are seeing here, displays the name of every selected cell. So, any cell that you select within the program, the name of that particular cell appears within the name box. Also, on the same line with the name box, we have the insert function and then the formula bar. The insert function is used to include a function in a formula that we are writing. Now, the formula bar is where formulas for calculations, as we've learned, we've learned earlier. I told you that we use this program for tasks that include mathematical calculation. These calculations are done with the help of formulas. Now, we actually type the formulas in the formula bar. Now, another feature that I would like us to discuss is the merge and center command. Now, it is used to combine a group of cells into one large cell. And then also center align its content. Let's assume that I want these particular cells merged. After selecting the cells that I want to merge, I'll click on the merging center. As you can all see, it has turned it into, it has merged or combined it into a very big cell for me. Now the name of the joint cell is the first cell. Actually this cell, the cell at the top left corner of the cell formed so now take note it has taken the name of this particular cell kindly like subscribe and share this channel click on the notification icon to be notified anytime we upload new videos